Hello everyone and welcome back to video editing one with Professor Harris. Today we're going through lesson 8, combining multiple effects. Until now you've applied only one effect to a segment at a time, but there will be times when you want to apply multiple effects to a single clip or segment in your timeline. For example, you may want to add a color correction effect to a shot and then resize it. Good news, you can accomplish this in Media Composer with a simple process known as nesting. I did show you guys a little bit of nesting in lesson 7. Um, if you recall, I added an effect onto another effect by holding the modifier key Option or Alt and then dropping it because otherwise it replaces it. Um, but let's get into this project. First of all, we're going to be working in Jacuzzi today. Uh, so make sure you've got your Jacuzzi project open. Um, and our goals for today are to apply more than one effect to a clip and to change the effect order. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is going to seem like a little bit of review for you, but let's get into it. As you've learned, you can place effects on segments in the timeline. What if you add an effect to a clip with an existing effect? The new effect replaces the existing one. This is great when you're experimenting to see which effects works best, but what if, for example, you want to adjust a clip's framing and improve its contrast? You can with nesting. A good analogy for nesting effects is the Russian nesting dolls. When you open one, there's another inside, and then another, and so on. At the most basic level, a nest contains multiple effects uh, on a segment video segment. In it, sorry, on a single video segment. However, you can build complex effects involving multiple video tracks nested within a single segment. To get started, we'll explore simple nesting. All right, so we have auto nesting, which is the first part of exploring simple nesting. To apply more than one effect to a clip, you can use a quick approach known as auto nesting. With this technique. You'll add a new effect on top of an existing effect, for example, adding a resize on top of a color correction. In the upcoming exercises, you use the auto nesting to add multiple effects to the jacuzzi sequence you rough together in lesson three. Let's look at how. So to auto nest one effect on top of another, we'll place the position indicator over the segment with an effect. We don't have any effects in this yet, so tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and open the effects palette. We're gonna go to, let's go to edge wipe and we'll do lower right diagonal and then we'll just apply it to this first effect. So now we have a nice diagonal black line on that. Alright, now we're going to make sure our, again, we're going to make sure our position indicators over the segment that we're going to add another effect, making sure our effects palette is open. We'll go to image this time and we'll go to color effect and we'll hold op option or alt like I talked about earlier and we'll drag it down onto this effect. It has now auto nested. There are now two effects on this one effect. So if we go to our effects mode now, we can click the effects mode here, or we can make sure we uh, we can switch to the effects editor this way. So now we can see if I shrink these drop downs, we have the color effect and we have the lower right diagonal. They are both here together, which is great because now we can use their drop down menus to make the adjustments we want inside. So we can auto nest as many effects as we need to. There is no limit. This is great if you're working with a third party plugin and need to apply multiple uh, effects to create a specific look. As shown here on my screen, you can access those nested effects in the effects editor and adjust the nested effects in that effects editor. We can double check that you've placed the position indicator over the segment with the nested effects, enable the record side track selectors in blue, so making sure these are enabled. Um, and then do the following. We'll enable the effects workspace, ensure effect mode is active, check, 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 we're all good, effects workspace. We'll click the effect mode button, or we can click this in the timeline. I already did all this. And we can make the adjustments on the effect in the monitor and look at the results in the effect preview monitor. So uh, in the effects editor, so let's add, let's add this color effect. Um, let's just crank up the brightness. Wow, let's crank down the contrast. Beautiful, look at this lovely, blue hue on top of white. It's so beautiful. All right, so we made our adjustments to our color effect. Now we can make some adjustments to our lower right diagonal effect. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to see anything, but we can decrease, well, we can, yeah, we can increase the opacity so now we can see the rest of the screen. So we've effectively removed the reason we would put a lower right diagonal effect into our timeline. Anyway, in the effect editor, an auto nested effect appears above an existing effect. In uh, here, as you can see on my screen, the resize effect was auto nested, I'm sorry, the color effect was auto nested 
um, above my lower right diagonal effect. Therefore, it's listed first in the effect editor. If we auto nest another effect, for example, like a mask effect, um, we can take this mask effect and drop it, making sure we're holding the Option or Alt modifier key. Boom, we can see that mask effect comes in directly above my color effect. I'm going to fix this because this is this is unusable. We can't we can't see what we're doing at all. So I'm going to adjust these uh, back to reasonable levels. But they're still these effects are still active. So let me put our nice little foreground. Very nice, beautiful. I love that. All right, um, where was I? Yes, it will appear above. So there it is. Our mask is now above. What if you want to add the same effect to multiple segments and be able to make changes to all the segments at once? You can. Of course you can. When you add an effect to multiple segments individually, you can only make changes to one at a time. To, uh, you can enter Auto Nest. A quick workflow lets you add the effect to multiple segments and apply adjustments to all those segments at once. So to Auto Nest an effect to multiple segments, let me shrink down here. Um, Add an auto nest to multiple segments. We're going to select the segments in the timeline by either we can do a drag select from left to right. We could um, make sure the segment mode tool is active. We could select them holding shift. We could select which specific ones, skipping others. Um, yeah, so that's two ways. Um, let's for the simplicity of it all, I'm just going to drag select and select all my clips. Okay, now with our video tracks selected and our audio track deselected, we can come up here into our effect palette and choose what we want to add. So making sure we hold that option modifier key or option or alt, we can double click this mask. We can see the mask now is added to all our video segments. Awesome. So with that, let's sum up auto nesting. Um, so first, again, you want to hold that alter option uh, and you can drag the effects to the effect palette or the timeline video to replace a single effect at a time, or a nest a single effect at a time. If we wanted to do what we just did, nest uh, to the whole thing, we could hold the alt option um, after selecting multiple tracks however we want to, and then double click in the effect palette. Once applied, uh, we can adjust the parameters in the effect editor. So we just applied this, we should probably adjust the, the parameters in the effects editor. Okay, so now we've got, you know, we've got width and all kinds of stuff we could we could really shrink this up. Yeah, we're really gonna wanna chop this one up. Now we got a nice mask, a nice cube of a video. Looking great. Um, yeah, as we've added multiple effects to clips, uh, you may encounter one of the following nuances though. Um, so a few effects cannot be used with nesting. If we attempt to create a nest with one of these, Media Composer will alert us to a message. So what are one of these? One of these, some effects like the blur effect in the image category automatically add keyframes at the start and end of a segment. You can see these keyframes in the effect preview monitor. That would be here. Uh, and uh, adjust the parameters in the effect monitor as well. However, when nested with other effects, Media Composer won't display the effect and its parameters with the other nested effects in the effect editor. So adding something like a blur is not going to work. The next section covers how to access nested effects in the timeline, which can help you work around these nuances uh, and simplify working with complex effect builds. So we're gonna now work with displaying a nest in the timeline. As mentioned, we can view these uh, effects within the nest uh, on the timeline. There are two ways to do this, two methods. The first is simple nesting view, which is simple, and expanded nesting view, which is expanded. So to view uh, these nested versions, we can use these two buttons down here at the bottom of the screen. We have the step in and the step out. Again, that if you can see my mouse down here in the bottom of the screen, step in and step out. Don't get these confused. Um, and if you do, just hovering shows you exactly which one is which. So first, we're going to talk about simple nesting view. Simple nesting view isolates nested effects. When you step into a nested effect built, the timeline changes so you can see the contents below the topmost effect. So our top most effect right now is this mask. If we hit step in, it's gonna change and we can see the color effect and the lower diagonal that I have nested inside. Uh, again, so you're gonna to wanna to park your position indicator over what you're gonna step into. You're gonna make sure the proper tracks are selected, that in this case would be our V1 
in blue. We're going to click the step in. We already did that. We're going to activate the effects workspace and ensure the effect mode and the nested effects are selected. So we are good on all that. The effects workspace is working. We have our effects mode open. We have the effect editor here. All good things. Then we can adjust the parameters of the effects inside. Um, and they'll, those changes will reflect on our preview monitor. So if we wanted to move this B point around, we can. That's our black point. Um, and we can see that effect change right there in our monitor. Awesome. And then we can click the step out button when we're done editing in simple nested view. So if we step out, we're back to our regular timeline and our audio reappears. Did you notice that the audio disappeared? Well, that's what makes simple nesting view simple. So let's step back in again real quick. We see the audio track has disappeared. Um, this works well when you're adjusting segment effects like color corrections or stylizing filters that affect the entire image. Plus, if you auto nest an effect to a group of segments, simple nesting view gives you easy access to the individual segments including included in that nest. So what if you auto nest multiple effects onto a segment or group of segments? You can click the step in button until you reach the original. So effect, you can reach that original effect free clip. So Media Composer tracks your nest level. The uh, nest level indicator appears beneath the video track selector. So we are currently here in nest one, we are in N1. If we click step in again, we are now in nest two. We're now on the lower right diagonal. Hopefully we can click it again and we do and we hit N3, we are now at the base video file in our timeline. So that's stepping in. On the other hand, uh, you know you've stepped in all the way uh, or the way out of a nested effect when the entire sequence, including audio tracks, reappears. So if we want to get out of here, we can press out, 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 boom, we're back. We can see the audio track has reappeared in our timeline. What if you want to access nested effects in the timeline but not in isolation? You can with the extended nesting view. So in an extended nesting view, uh, this view lets you access your nested effects in the timeline and make adjustments while viewing all effects at once. And you can monitor your audio. To activate expanded nesting view, park the position indicator over a nested effect. Check. Uh, activate the nested effects video track selectors in blue. Check. Then we're going to hold the alter option on Mac key and click the step in. So we'll hold alter option, we'll hit step in, and now we are in expanded nesting view. Awesome. So we can see the different effects that have been added. Um, on our V1 track, we have this one large effect that's been added. On a uh, lower level, we've got this effect, and uh, that would include the color effect in the lower right diagonal. So if we had other effects, we only have one, we have one effect, that mask effect over all of these effects, over all these segments in the timeline. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is why we're seeing just this one. But if we had other effects, that were nested, those would appear here as well. Again, this is in expanded nesting view. Notice, notice the nested effects appear above the outermost effect in the timeline, right here. In the example uh, on my screen, the mask effects is the topmost effect in the selected resize effect is the nested effect. So if we look here, the topmost effect is this one, where essentially we're thinking about this on the inverse. So this is the top, and then we're digging in deeper as we go up. That's expanded nesting view. So if we want to reveal additional nested effects, we can ensure the effects mode is active. A nested effect segment is selected. So we are, that is true. We have effects selected. We got more nested effects to go. Um, and we can alter option, click the step in again. And then boom, we're on the next level. Now we're at 2.1. We're getting deeper. Now we're on the lower right diagonal, getting a little more specific now. So if we had different effects here in the timeline, those would also be stacking up similar to the way we're seeing this happen on the 7-36-5. Cool. As you can see, each nested level appears in the track above the previous level with the outermost effect at the bottom and the innermost effect at the top. In the example here on screen, the mask effect is the outermost effect one with the resize effect, uh, no, sorry, not resize effect, I have color effect, so I'm adapting this for what we're looking at now. And then I have a color correction in there as well. 
So these are all nested. Just like in Simple Nesting View, MIDI Composer tracks nesting level in the Track Selectors panel. It labels this by the nest level and then track number, for example, 2.1 indicated here on the left, like I just pointed out. Also in RV1. So nesting opens up a world of effect building possibilities. As your effect builds uh, grow in complexity, nesting view adds flexibility to the effect design and helps you troubleshoot along the way. We just skimmed the surface here today as far as what you can accomplish with nesting. But before we move on, let's sum up nesting views. So to use simple nesting view, you'll click the step in and step out buttons. So let me step out here uh, real quick, get back, back out to our original timeline. To view simple nesting view, you can just step in and you can step out. That's simple nesting view. Expanded nesting view, you hold option, you'll hit step in. You can hit step in again and again, um, but it'll step back out. Um, and then you can hit step out and it'll take you right back out. So that all that to say is how you would step in and step out in simple and exp expanded nesting view. Okay, a lot to swallow there as far as nesting goes, but we are in the home stretch now. Now we're going to look at changing nested effect order. As you add multiple effects to your clip, each effect adds an effect to your effects below inside the nest. So at times, the effect stacking order matters, and you may need to reorder the effects in a nest to achieve the desired result. To reorder effects in the nest, you'll place the position indicator over a segment with nested effects. Check. Make sure you're activated on the, the correct track selectors for that nest. V1. Check. Activate the effects workspace and or the effect mode and drag the effect icon up or down. So literally just click this bad boy. Um, oh, we're going to have to step in because we have a nest. Oh, that's step out. Sorry. Step in. And now we are accessing the uh, the effects. I put a bunch of effects on this really quickly. Um, so we got colored ULT, mask, and flip. All you have to do is click and drag. And now you can change the order and location of where the effects are. So we can put flip at the bottom. We could put mask at the bottom. It is quite literally that simple. And you can reorder any effect you nest together. With a handful of exceptions, you encounter an exception. If When you encounter an exception, MIDI Composer will display a message and alert you. So if I come over here to this other effect, um, the effects that I had already added, if I try to flip the color effect below, it's going to give me this. These effects cannot, sorry, can't be reordered because they don't have the same number of input tracks. I'll explain this to you guys later, but for now, just know, sometimes you can't reorder. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. That is everything in Lesson 8. Um, don't forget to get in the lab, get on your computer, get an Avid, and start playing with effects, goofing around, ruining your beautiful hard work uh, in the sequences and having fun with it. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.